Friendship Village. Thanks for joining us once again for these encouraging words together. I'm so thankful that here at the village we can stop wherever we are and just come before the Lord. You know, we have our brand new chapel, which is a designated space where we can perhaps have some uninterrupted time in his presence. But it's not like God's presence is somehow more in the chapel than anywhere else on our campus. God's faithful. His spirit is everywhere. We can meet him at any time, any place. It's just a matter of our heart as we trust him and come before him. Right now in this moment, he's going to meet with us as we come before him and open our hearts to him. We'll hear his voice as we read his word and we'll have the opportunity to lift before him our prayers and our needs and he meets us every time. There are times when we definitely feel and sense his presence. There are other times when we simply stand on our faith knowing that he's good and trusting that he hears us. But we can know regardless that God remains constant, faithful, true to his word and to his nature. Every time we come to meet with him, he receives us with open arms as we come to him in the name of Jesus. Thanks for joining us for these few moments together. Recently, we've been taking a look at select verses from the book of Romans, particularly the eighth chapter. So much powerful truth in this chapter, so much hope to be found. One of my my most favorite chapters in all the scripture here in Romans chapter 8. And we're going to pick up reading here in just a moment in verse 26, but let me give you a little bit of the 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 background uh, that's uh, told to us by the few verses that are right before this. Um, the Apostle Paul has been talking about suffering, the suffering we go through in this life, but his hope is fixed on what is yet to come. Though we go through times of trial and hardship now, it is working a greater glory. There is, there is a better day that's coming as we put our trust in the Lord, as we turn to him in the midst of our suffering. In fact, he'll go on to say that all the entire world, everything in creation, looks forward to a coming day of redemption where we are completely remade in the presence of God. And that is the promise of Scripture. The book of Revelation talks about the earth being remade, including you and I, and everything being right once again. A time and place when there's no more pain or suffering or crying or fear or sorrow or anything like that. We stand forever in the internal presence of the Lord. And so the book of Romans says between now and then, all the creation's crying out for that day, crying out for that, that day of, of, um, of redemption, so to speak, a day that began at the cross, a day that's culminated at the end of the age. And we get caught in the in-between. Here we are in the light of what Jesus has done on the cross, thankful for his sacrifice and the redemption that was made available to you and I as we put our trust in him. The Bible says that our sins are forgiven and we step into eternal life. The Spirit of God comes into us and enables us to cry, Abba, Father. That's actually a verse that's in this chapter, a, a, a phrase that means that we get to have God as our very own uh, daddy, so to speak, Abba. And so, and so there's this sense of renewal, family, belonging, God making everything right. And yet we live in a world that has not experienced the fullness of all of that and what is to come. And so we get caught in that in between. We get caught in moments where our hearts still hurt, in situations that are still difficult or sometimes even tragic. And we go through those moments and we're even at a loss for words. We don't even know how to respond sometimes to the hardships that present themselves in life. But that's the key point of our verse today. Romans chapter 8 verse 26 tells us that in those kind of moments, here it is, the Spirit, capital S, the Holy Spirit, the Spirit helps us in our weakness. We do not know what we ought to pray for, but the Spirit himself intercedes for us through wordless groans. In other words, there's something that even if we don't quite hear the voice of the Spirit, he's still interceding, he's still crying out, he's still calling forth victory and hope and peace and all that we need to face whatever it is that, that we face. 
the good news in all of that is none of us are left to just simply fend through life on our own. He indwells us. He pours, the Spirit of God pours into us and enables us, gives us strength. And even when we don't have the words, he remains faithful and he intercedes so that we might overcome in the end. There is no obstacle that you and I face that is greater than the presence of God, that's greater than his love, that's greater than the peace that he offers. The key the key uh, item that we need, the key characteristic that we need to hold on to is endurance. And Jesus provides by his spirit that endurance, enabling us to face hardships with courage and grit, that we might be um, determined and purposed to trust the Lord in every situation. So how are you today? Are you feeling overwhelmed? You feeling confused about the way forward? Are you just maybe looking at future, whether it be news events and world circumstances or personal issues? Do you feel like you don't even know how to pray sometimes? The Spirit of God's here to help, to intercede on our behalf in order that we would stand strong and endure and come through on the other side, still standing, still confident, still hopeful, even experiencing his sustaining joy when others are, are confused and when others are in despair. That doesn't have to be you and I, no matter what the outward circumstances are. From the inside, God wants to give us strength that bleeds over into the outside and spills over and even touches the folks around us. You are not left alone to find your way. The Spirit of God's here. He's all around you. And if you've called on the name of Jesus as your Lord and Savior, he's in you to give you whatever is needed in this very moment to cause you to overcome. Let's turn to him in prayer. Let's cast our hopes on him. Let's invite him to pour out that sense of confidence and purpose in us even as we go through our day. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your goodness, your love, your care, your compassion. Jesus, we remain ever grateful for your sacrifice on the cross and your resurrection from the dead. In you, Lord, we've died to sin and we are raised into new life. You bring us grace and mercy and forgiveness and hope and confidence and energy and power and all that we need to walk through this life with a sense of victory. And even in those moments when we, Lord, encounter hardships and difficulties and obstacles that we don't know how to get around, that leave us at a loss for words. Nothing catches you by surprise. So we thank you for your Holy Spirit, which you pour out in us and through us and all around us, that we might be able to stand strong. Thank you that you care for us. And Spirit of God, Holy Spirit, we thank you that you intercede, you intervene, you come and insert yourself into every situation as we put our hope in you, and you give us the strength we need to endure and to overcome. Pour out that confidence to every heart listening in today. Even right now in this moment, let there be an infusion of hope and strength. Thanks for interceding on our behalf. Thanks for being strong and mighty. Lord, we love you. We trust you. We put our confidence in you today. Thanks for hearing us as we pray. In Christ's name, Amen. Isn't it good to know that the Spirit of God is on your side? Boy, that's great. Thanks for tuning in today. Here at Friendship Village, we're doing our best to show you these videos three times a day. They're brand new at 4.30. They're repeated 8 o'clock at night, and then once again, 8 o'clock the following morning. We do that five days a week, Monday through Friday, but you can see these videos anytime, day or night, on the internet. Simply type in Encouraging Words with Burt Campbell, and you can do that on, on your Google search bar or whatever browser you use, your, your phone, your tablet, your computer, and it'll take you to YouTube, and you'll find all our videos there right now. God bless you. Have a great day in the Lord. Keep your eyes on him and we'll see you next time. God bless.